I discovered opportunities for hunting and trade in these lands. I gave up my search for Jotunheim long ago. Leave that for the younger, more hopeful men. But I was over eager. And my men paid a heavy price. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. We're uh, still discovering a lot of stuff around the Lake of Nine, but the last trophy we got, actually, uh, I checked it out, and apparently you get that when you uh, discover everything the Lake of Nine has to offer to use its words. Um, ooh. Um, let's take uh, that thing. That was further than I anticipated, so let's just climb up here. But I don't believe that trophy. I feel like there's a lot more going on than um, just this. Because we've seen a few more caves that uh, we haven't discovered yet. So I think we'll just continue on. Um, the plan I have is that I'm, I really want to do Brock's second part of his favor before we head on with the main quest. But uh, I don't really like following like quest markers and such, so I'm just gonna do this organically as we've been doing through the entire series. So just gonna continue on exploring a lot of the uh, yes. of the lake and the caves we haven't seen really? yet. You are surprised. Well, yeah. I don't think you'd care about helping Spirit. Fighting more Hellwalkers is good experience for you. Ah. Oh. So that was interesting. So Kratos wants Atreus to uh, help out the spirit this time. Um, just want to check out, because there's a few fires we haven't lit yet. I know for some of them we probably need the Niflheim cipher. But, ooh. Oh. This looks different now. We'll definitely check this out first then. And that looks like a fancy chest, a bit more gold over there. So let's pick that up first. There's something down there. And then we'll uh, look right over there and see what else is going on here. So we again have a spirit to help out. Uh, I'm just gonna just blow everything up that I can. Um, hmm. Lots of stuff. This thing seems like it can be exploded as well, but I can't see the pot from here. Ah, oh, wait, there it is. There we go. Blowing stuff up is always... Uh, that, no, I was going to say profitable, but that's a really, really bad statement. But, Solid Sart of Heimsteel and a bit of World Serpent Scales. And you need to die as well. 17 out of 51. We're getting there, slowly. But we're getting there. Because there's a lot of them that we've seen before, but couldn't really do anything with. Because I think there was even one at that boat. Okay, hi. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, and he explodes. Oh. And I think this one just goes down. And smack. And my axe back. Oh, he's behind a wall. Oh, wow. He can explode that wall. Yep, couldn't get out of the way in time. There we go. And then there's block and smash. And just get him with some arrows. Yeah, we can't, can't interrupt the dodging attack, apparently. There we go. Took a bit more damage than I anticipated, but... Uh... That's a tough crew. Oh, his responsibility. That's a lot of responsibility. So that's one out of three already. Uh... Responsibility. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. I mean, I think it used to. But not as much anymore. Why is that? Well... Being out here, with you, makes me feel more grown up. <laughs> I do love where the conversation is going here, because yeah, you really feel like Atreus is growing. He's not the, the same boy as the beginning of the quest anymore, beginning of the game. Um, let's see, I can 
Oh. That is a problem. How do we deal with that? Aha. Just need to be uh, looking out a bit further. There we go. There we go. Taken care of. Another chest for us. And we took out uh, the first out of the three. Hellwalker Cruise. That is also very good. And we're gathering materials while we're going along. So that's also... Uh, very, very handy indeed. I do wonder what we're going to get from that spirit because they've uh, they provided us with a lot of handy things in the past. But because I was a bit late, I couldn't really use it since I had better stuff by the time we got it. But uh, really, really wondering what we're going to get here. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Sc Sir. Scroll or treasure map? Looks like a scroll to me because I think the treasure maps look a bit different than that. Okay. That's going in the journal. There we go. A normal uh, scroll. Aha, it's about the crew. Captain Eric, this is our fault. We managed to find a way inside one of the Asgardian libraries you told us to stay away from. I made off with more coin in one day than we'd see from years of trading. But the thunderstorm that sank your fleet during the tempest I had a vision. Thor himself came to me. He appeared on the deck of the Mariusudan. In a bolt of lightning and demanded vengeance. We stole from the gods, he said, and for that we must be punished. A brilliant flash of light followed and then everything went dark. We awoke stranded up here. Somehow we managed to survive the shipwreck, but I managed, though I imagine it is part of the Aesir's punishment. Now we are forced to live out our last few days stranded on cliff, surrounded by hellwalkers and tassel worms. Starving at each other's throats, it won't be long now. Will Aegir be understanding? Will Ran be compassionate? Or will they cast me out to freeze in hell? I suppose it is not for me to know. I'm sorry, Captain Eric. So yeah, now we know why the boat was stranded in the first place. Um, this seems like we need to head... Oh. Oh. There's a lot of stuff around here, so I don't think we can get... To that chest from here, so we'll have to find another way through. Looks like it's over there. There we go. And then we have just more hack silver. Okay, so that thing is supposed to explode as well. Um, there we go. Taken care of. And pried open. More materials for us. Seems like it's pretty much the same thing every time. Which is fine by me. You can always use more of that. Okay, so we're right next to these, like, cable lift looking things. Uh, this was a dock before, apparently. There is another portal around here. Which is fine by me. New location found. So I'm guessing if I hit one of those, it's gonna pull the elevator either to here. Oh, wow. That's further than I anticipated. Okay, that's clearly not doing anything. Um, we can go further up. The thing that just gets us to the brazier we lit. Yeah, there we go. So that's that. We never blew this up. Aha. Must have missed that the previous time around. Because I'm pretty sure we could get that before. But uh, now that we're here, let's get it anyway. Chest for us. In the bag. Then. There is... A death ride all the way down. But how do we... Oh, probably the area below us. So through the boat and now we can... Yeah, there we go. All the way down to those two chests. Nothing spawns, which is fine for me. And there we go. Hack silver and whatever is in here. Another summon, another runic attack. Oh, an enchantment. Emir's Breath, Rare Axe Pommel. It's not an enchantment, it's a pommel. Low perk activation chance to create a frost explosion on any successful axe hit. So, pretty much the same thing as the shock pommel, but with frost explosions instead of... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shock explosions, there we go. And now we can quickly turn back where we were, because I think we're not done with this area just yet. So, back up. We have another death ride over there that gets us to the other... Um, 
the other shipwreck over there, which might hold another batch of the crew. And there's another raven circling around, we'll have to get to that later on. But I do want to check out these elevator things first. Um, let's blow this up. That. There we go. That gives us this. Want to see what we can trade those for? Oh, abandoned ship artifact set complete. So that's the last ship head we were missing. But now. So this is definitely not moving, but it gives me the indicator that I could. Aha! So I needed to do it from a different direction. Can I do that again? So that lowers it, which means I should probably be able to cross now. Yeah, there we go. Very, very, very slowly, but... Hmm. Okay, so now if I pull this, I go up again. Wait, maybe go to the next one first. We'll see where we get from there. There we go. So now we can put that one down a bit. Can I actually activate this? Yes. Because I think I just need to drop this down once and then I can get... Yeah, now we can get to the realm tear in a second. But I can also get down here and then we can get this up again and get ourselves down here there we go okay so we can't climb up ropes which is a bit silly but we can do that that's an amazing jump and then we have the elevator over here. So this must be one of the gates that we haven't seen yet. Maybe we can even light the braziers. Oh, hi. That's another traveler. Can I just... Jump, jump, jump. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. But you know, you know me, right? I'm a I'm a stubborn little bastard. So let's just try and get this guy done. He's level seven, so that means he's three levels above me. Which sucks, but it's not. Tears braziers. A symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes though? Now you mention it. He wouldn't. Ah. Oh. Oh. So it's not Deer that uses this these runes. Cheap, 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 cheap. Be ready. So he's gonna start with that. Fine. And he's gonna try and attack me. So I can dodge him. There we go. Oh, wow. Hmm. I feel like I should be able to do this, though. I feel like I should be able to do this. Just need to be careful. Oh, gold. Is that three? Yeah, crap. So that's him buffing himself. Holy shit, balls. It just keeps going. Yeah. Mm. So basically, I can't get hit. Which... It's possible. But... So. Ah, 
Ah, uh, I can shock him. I can shock him. I can shock him. I think I can. Maybe I should stop fighting overpowered enemies. It's also gonna be uh, nice. He just goes through everything. This makes it harder for me because I can't see a single thing. What the hell is that? Um. Oh fuck. Yeah, nope. Okay. Yeah, fuck me. Sideways, 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 sideways. Maybe to the left. Fuck me. Fuck me. Okay, never mind. Nope. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck no. Oh, fuck. My Rage of the Gods just stopped. <laughs> Spartan Rage just stopped. Ah, just on the edge of his head there. Ah. Can't immediately assume that he's gonna do a, a double swipe there. Yeah. He's invulnerable while he's doing the skull thing. God damn it. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Jesus. Is there anything else still alive? There isn't. Oh fuck. Come on. No, 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 not again. Oh fuck, fuck. He's gonna do it. Oh, he can't. He didn't. He didn't do anything. Come on, focus. Come on, Atreus. Yeah, I got him. Yes, fucking Christ, in the face. Eat it. Okay. Am I glad he couldn't do the skull thing twice? Because uh, I got a bit lucky there that my uh, Spartan Rage tossed all three of those things off the cliff because I didn't even see that happening. But okay. But once you get his attacks down, he's doable. So, usually switches from overhead slam, which just needs one simple dodge to the side to dodge. And then to an, uh, a, a sweep, which just uh, you need to dodge back from. So there we go, more traveler materials. So we might be able to uh, make that armor set really soon. Now, this. So we've uh, heard that, so I'm just gonna skip. Can we read that again now? We've seen these runes before, but it's the kind I still can't read. Ah, okay, so it's uh, Niflheim runes. Can I put this down with this? Whoa, okay, what the hell was that? That was just my attack returning, I suppose. Where does this lead? Because I know I couldn't access it from this side. Is there an item here? No. You know what? I'll uh, just return to where we were so we can fully explore those boats, those uh, shipwrecks. So give me a second. So, after fiddling a bit with the elevators, the cable lifts, we can actually access this. I'm supposing this is not gonna... Yeah. Because there's not really much space to work with here. So Dust of Realms. And we... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So a bit of Dust of Realms. Continuing on. Can't go up here, so we'll need to pull this back up. 
So, and then the final death right we haven't done yet is all the way down here. So let's slide down. See another uh, realm there over there on the right. So that might be uh, something for us. Iron Code. Can blow that up. Seems to be the only way forward as well. So I'm guessing another bit of the Hellwalker crew will be here. Since, you know, there's a boat here and all. Um, that blows that up. And then we have two other things that we need to blow up. I don't immediately see a way of doing that, but I do hear enemies. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Um, what the hell is that? Is that a werewolf? Seems like I can actually block that. He seems to be pretty vulnerable to my attacks. As long as I can... Okay. Eat it. So now he's shot. Oh god. Is he growing claws? Bigger claws. Okay, great. Yeah, just eat it. Eat it. There we go. The whale of the wolver. Adequate. A werewolf. Plain and simple. Um that was kinda of scary. So that opens up that route, and that seems to be, yeah, uh, that will be the next bit of the Hellwalker crew, I think. Might as well go there as fast as we can and just clear that out while we're at it. I am gonna take the health stone though. Don't mind if I do. There we go, 3000 hack silver for the Wolver. And now these guys. I think I can actually, if I just trigger them. Here we go. And just. Then Throw. Yeah, blow that up. So that takes care of this guy. You know. Oh, that's shockwaves. That seems to be pretty simple. There we go. Two out of three. Taken care of. How did this one captain lead so many men? He had their loyalty, so they followed. And then they all died. Oh, he must have been a bad leader. fuck. Why do you think that? Well, he led all these men to their deaths. True. But these men chose to follow. Hmm. Even good leaders make poor choices. The best take responsibility for them. Remember this. Let's take it. Is he gonna fight again now? Okay. I think we're far enough away. And grab it. There we go. Take it down in the stomach and stomp on it. Not done yet, there was. There we go. Come on, open that up. There we go. Taken care of. And that's another ancient down, so that should give us a lot of uh, materials. Start with the, uh, the easier stuff World Serpent Scales. Then we have Soul of Fartalfheim Steel. Ooh. Fire Sigil of Focus increases resistance to burn damage by 20, so that's our second one, I think. Don't take the fish, Kratos. Ancient's Rubble. Pack Silver. And this must be the heart. Yeah, there we go. That was um, yeah, a bit of double trouble there. And there's another... Uh, ooh, that was digging. Is that a treasure? No, just just a bunch of hack silver. Fair enough. Open this up. And there we go. More hack silver? No, solid fart of ham steel and scales. Boy, and this is... Ooh, that's yes, a treasure sir. map. That is a treasure map. Indeed. Superb. So if that contains an Oblivion Stone, 
which it doesn't, eternal frost and ages gold. Where is that? Why waste a life worshipping those who were created by another? I honor Buri, first among gods and he from whom the Aesir sprang. I've left him tribute on the island that honors him. Yeah, there's a Buri storeroom on the other side of the lake, so I think I know where we need to, yeah, because you can see the water wheel in the background. I know where we need to go for that one. But we're not done with this island just yet, so there's a few things we can actually blow up. And there's more loot around here. That was the wrong button. Uh, we can't do anything from... Can we actually... Ooh, we might be able to see that from the, the beach. But let's just clear this out first. I don't really see anything. Oh, we can go up here. Right on the boat. And I think from here... Ooh, more hacks over. From here, I think there was a raven, yeah. There we go. 18 out of 51. And if I'm not mistaken, I think... Was there supposed to be one on the boat? I thought there was one. Oh, and now we can reach that area. That's the area on the other side from the brazier we lit. Yeah, okay. So no explosive arrows, probably. Um, but we should be able to explode a few things from here already. Let's do that in a second. I mean, I'm just wasting time here. Let's drop down again over here. There's another area down there. So that blows that one open. And that's a chest. Probably more and more materials, but um, uh, I think I'm gonna try to make an ancient... Well, that ancient armor set... Uh, no, not the ancient, the traveler armor set in a second. Because that sounds like it might be better than the ancient stuff that I'm wearing right now. Can I... Oh, there's another one over here. I don't really know what the symbols are just yet. So that's one exploded, so the... Oh god. I'm just gonna rely on... Atreus... To know when to block. Oh god, shouldn't have st stood in there. There we go. Okay. Kind of hurt me there, because I s stood in the area. Can't really see which one I need to blow up for this one. Gonna see that from the other side. Just health sun first, and that opens it up back to the brazier, which is nice. And then this one. Okay, so pretty much at the door. Except for the fact that I don't know... What the blow? Aha! Of course! When in doubt, look up. Look up. So, E, B, and P. That sounds about right, but don't want to waste another pot because that gives me a health stone. That is nice. So, I'm just gonna set the runes correctly. So, E, B, and P. See you guys in a second. Okay, well, this is interesting. So, aha! There's still one left. I think I might. So that means I can put it to E, and that's the one I need. Which means that the gate is now open. Fair enough. So the explosion blew off the, the two older uh, side bits from the pillar there, so I couldn't do anything else. But this is now open. Ooh, and there's more explosives yet. I'm just gonna stand back. There. there we go. Luckily, those are very, very sturdy chests. And there's a lot of loot in here as well. Thank you for all this. Because of my higher luck, I now have a get a lot more hack silver from all of these things. And then open up the chests. Hmm. What is this gonna be? Enchantment? Omel? Runic attack! Mists of Helheim, a lingering area of effect attack that creates a small hazard that inflicts frost damage to all enemies inside. Sorry for that. And, hmm. So that's. Okay, it is indeed pretty small, but the third level does actually increase all that. And I have the Glaive Storm. I upgraded that to uh, level 2. 
But it's not going to be amazing if I level that up further. The thing I want to upgrade, actually, is something I've been holding off for a while. I want to upgrade the wolves to the... Oh, no, I did already. I did already upgrade the wolves to the, the final one. Because I'm really happy with the wolves. I don't want to change that. Just going to keep the wolves. And we got pristine ore of the realm of flawless stone containing a mixture of rare metals used to upgrade powerful armor only found in the iron cave. Cove. Not cave. Cove. Okay. Fair enough. And then the final thing I want to do here, I think there's another area down below that I missed. So we need to head down there and there's another uh, realm tear down there. So maybe this might take 20 minutes or this might take 2 minutes. We'll see. You know what? I can't seem to find the way to go down there right now. So I'm gonna just uh, take a little break and when we get back we're gonna continue our tour of the lake and probably find ourselves some, uh, some treasure. So, uh, and we'll also be making that uh, Traveler's Armor as far as I can. So, uh, thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode of God of War. Goodbye.